With a wealth estimated at about $17 billion, Vladimir Potanin is Russia, Russia's richest man. He's also the CEO. We're also pleased this weekend to be able to announce a $5 million gift from a friend of mine, Vladimir Potanin, and his foundation, the Vladimir Potanin Foundation, to help us refurbish. Vladimir Potanin, one of Russia's most prominent oligarchs and close to the Kremlin. He's vast in. <laughs>
Natalia Patalina at her opulent mansion on the outskirts of Moscow. For 30 years, this woman was married to Russia's richest man. Now she's demanding the biggest divorce settlement the world has ever seen. Half of an estimated 15 billion dollar fortune. If you're successful, what are you going to do with that money? I prefer to think of one step at a time. First I need to get it, then I'll decide how to spend it. The ex-husband is Vladimir Patanin, one of Russia's most should be, quote, more than enough. But Natalia Patanina told me she's due much more. The real wealth, she says, is held in offshore companies. An international legal battle is now underway to decide what assets should be divided. In the past, it was the way things were done for all big businesses and businessmen. Now it's changing. Vladimir always had all his companies offshore and kept his money away from Russia. It was a safeguard for his business. The divorce is also offering a rare glimpse into the intensely private lives of Russia's super rich. Natalia gave us this home video recorded 20 years ago of her son's sixth birthday party. But this is no ordinary family. With their vast wealth came super yachts, private jets, extravagant and luxurious vacations. You mentioned to me earlier that you often spent $10 million on a summer holiday. I mean, how do you? How do you spend that much money? <laughs> Look, our kids were interested in aqua biking. It sounds casual, but it costs money. Once we organized a world championship in aqua biking in Monaco, there were lots of guests, the Prince of Monaco was among them, there were preparations, yachts, dinners. On the one hand, aqua biking was just a family hobby that we all shared. But if you could imagine how it was organized. Most of us can only imagine the life this immensely wealthy family enjoyed. Even Natalia herself says she never even dreamed of so much money when she first married Vladimir Patanin. But half of the $15 billion fortune, she told me, is rightfully hers. What any woman married for so long to a billionaire should expect. Matthew Chance, CNN Moscow.